now on a developing story on the Armwood High School football team. Today, the state notified Armwood that it found the school committed major violations that could lead to Armwood having its state football championship stripped away. School officials responded to the findings late this afternoon. Our Alan Cohn broke this story and is live for us with the very latest. Alan? Brenda, just moments ago, Hillsborough County school officials released the long-awaited report by the Florida High School Athletic Association. Let me read the first line from the investigator. On or about November 15, 2011, the undersigned investigator was asked to visit Armwood High School as the result of an ABC Action News investigation. Six months after our I-Team investigation uncovered evidence the parents of senior Jack Lightsey falsified enrollment documents and never made a full and complete move from Orlando to Armwood's district, Superintendent Mary Ellen Elia announced she has been informed of the results of the ensuing investigation by the Florida High School Athletic Association. We did not find simply a clerical snafu. Uh, if it was a clerical snafu, in my definition, that's somebody entering the information improperly. That really is not it. We had, um, we had things that were happening where parents were not giving us the truth. The state probe launched as a result of our I-Team investigation revealed at least five Armwood players didn't legally enroll into Armwood. In one case, the head of the athletic association says a family went to extraordinary means to get their kid into Armwood. So an individual used a friend who works for a utility company to get a falsified utility bill in order to you know, just, you know, to, to prove residence, you know, I mean, that's, that's pretty extensive. If the violations are upheld and the students ruled ineligible, it will likely cost Armwood its championship, a reality head coach Sean Callahan is well aware of. We've discussed it amongst the staff and the team several times. And there are rules, and we follow the rules. The school board now has 10 days to respond to this re report. At that point, the Florida High School Athletic Association will notify Armwood of the penalties, which could be stripping its state championship and thousands of dollars worth of fines. Reporting live in Tampa, Alan Cohn, ABC Action News.